everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. And everyone's favourite bird, Archie. I want to start this video off on a serious note. Because I'm discussing a makeup product from Wish.com, I do want to just give you guys a disclaimer that it can be dangerous to buy cosmetics from Chinese websites like this. The Chinese counterfeit cosmetic industry is quite controversial. Chinese counterfeit cosmetics can often contain dangerous ingredients. They've been found to contain things like arsenic and aluminum and lead, cyanide, rat droppings, human urine, you know, all the good stuff. Sometimes they'll even sell real products, but they will water them down, you know, in order to make extra product. Then you also have the problem of people not realizing that they're buying counterfeit products, which I was concerned may have happened to me today. Let me start off with a story. When I saw that Huda was releasing the new nude palette, I got really excited because I thought it looked beautiful. When she released that, I hadn't used her products before and I was really excited to give them a try. But then, as soon as it was released, images started popping up online saying that the Huda palette was a copy of a palette from Wish. Now me not knowing any better, I saw that and I was like, oh, I should totally test it out. I'll buy the one from Wish and then I'll buy hers and I'll compare them. Let's be honest, they do look eerily similar. I did a quick little bit of photoshopping and I put the Tease Me palette and Huda's new palette side by side. And uh, you guys remember that scene in Harry Potter where Tom Riddle writes his name and then he sort of flicks around the letters a bit and rearranges it and it spells out Lord Voldemort. Well, I did that here, and while they're not identical, you really can't deny they are very, very similar. For a start, we have uh, Tease Me and Nude, so they're, they're both about nudity. The colour scheme is very, very similar, and they both have 18 shadows, and the pans look almost the same. So I picked this one up from Wish, it cost me $6 plus shipping, so I think it came to about $10. And then when it arrived, I was looking at the packaging and I was like, oh yeah, you know, this looks pretty legit. It's from a company called Beauty Creations Incorporated in Los Angeles, and it says, not tested on animals, cruelty free, made in China. And when I saw that, and I saw distributed by Beauty Creations Incorporated, I thought to myself, wait, I got this from Wish. So is this Beauty Creations company selling products on Wish? Or is this a counterfeit palette? See, now we're asking the real questions. Let's say this was fake. A lot of consumers don't realize that they're buying a fake product. They see it for a good price and it looks like the real thing and they're like, amazing, like it, it's cheaper than it is on the actual website. I'll buy it and they think that it's real. You can almost always guess that it's going to be fake if it's a brand that you know of, if it's MAC or if it's Kylie Cosmetics or if it's the Laura Lee Los Angeles palette, you can bet that if it's on Wish, it's a fake. I had to look up online, I looked at their website and I looked at some other places that sell it and I looked at the listing on Wish and it says on the Wish listing, 100% authentic. So I'm still asking myself, is this the real palette or is this a Wish knockoff? of the real palette by Beauty Creations, I'm not sure. So if anyone knows the answer, please tell me below. But my point is, when you're buying cosmetics from Wish, you do have to be careful. There are some legitimate brands on there where the actual sellers do distribute their products through Wish, but then there's also a lot of knockoffs. And like I said at the start, it can be very, very dangerous to buy knockoff makeup because you don't know what's going into it. This particular palette does have an ingredients list on the back and it does have quite an extensive ingredients list. But then you do have to ask yourself, is this a true ingredients list, or have they made it up? Because I really don't think that there's much of a regulation around the ingredients that go into these cosmetics. The point of the video, I picked this up because I saw pictures on the internet saying it was very similar to Huda's new nude palette, which I have here. I picked up four of this palette. I picked up one for me, two to give away in this video. Yes, that's right guys, I'm doing a giveaway and I'm giving two of this palette away and then I got a spare and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one yet. This palette is 95 Australian dollars. You know, I don't like to be cynical from the start of the video, but I have a feeling I'm going to say that it's not worth it because $95 for an eyeshadow palette is Bonkers. Let's have a look at it. Here they are. I can't believe I bought four of them. Having no talent at all, being terrible at makeup and being brutally, brutally honest means I'm not on very many PR lists and it's getting kind of pricey. <laughs> right off the bat, we have this really, really interesting frosted sort of plastic on the outside, which I think is quite nice. We'll swatch this. We'll swatch this palette from Wish. We'll have a look at the color comparisons and uh, then we'll do a full eye look. So here's the palette. 
I really like the holographic writing on the front. I think that's great. When you look at her eyes, I can see a little tiny bit of like metallic pink on there. But really, she doesn't seem to be wearing very much of the shadow from this palette. You would have thought, you know how Manny, Manny's palette is like everything is from the palette. She's really not showing off very much of the colors from the palette because I was kind of hoping to look at her eyes and copy the look that she has for today's video, but there isn't really much of a look there at all. So I'm actually gonna have to try and think of something. So when you open it, oh, that's a very, very big mirror. We also have this piece of plastic. Uh, and then here is the palette itself. Doesn't smell like much. It does feel very luxurious, I'll give it that. But let's have a look at this Wish palette or Beauty Creations. So, like I said, this was $6 or something on that website. Now, the listing for this Wish... The listing for this had thousands and thousands of sales and it also had hundreds of reviews. So I do feel a little bit more confident using this palette today than I would have felt just buying a cheap piece of Chinese makeup that didn't have any reviews. The thing is other people have been using this and it's been working for them. What I always recommend, if for some reason you do decide to buy cheap cosmetics off Wish, every time, always, always test it on your skin. See. A couple of months ago, I actually bought a full face of makeup from Wish. Everything that I got was free, I had to pay shipping, and I filmed a video where I applied it straight to my face, and I filmed a video where I applied it, but I swatched it first, and I reacted to some of that stuff, and I got chemical burns, and I have never posted that video because I don't feel comfortable sharing that with my audience because I'm worried that some of you guys might be like, oh, I'll give it a try, and I don't want people to think that I'm promoting going out and buying cheap Chinese makeup. It was a fun idea and I had seen lots of other people doing it, but I don't want to post that video or at least I don't want to post it without giving it a really good informative message about counterfeit cosmetics and the risks that it can carry. Look, if you want to see that video, if you want to see my full face of free wish makeup, please let me know. I can post it, but if I do post it, I want it to be very educational and informative because I do worry that young people are tempted by the cheap prices on Wish but then they don't really understand some of the potential consequences if you do get a bad product that has lead or rat droppings or something in it. So anyway, what I was saying about this one, this one has been purchased many times, people are raving about it, people really really like this one, so I do feel a little bit more confident using it, but I am going to swatch it on my arm and test it out and uh, see if I have any reaction to it. Now right off the bat when I open this, you can't deny how similar this is to Huda's palette. This has been out for a very, very long time. This isn't the sort of thing where Huda launched the pictures of hers and then they whipped this up and sold it. As we know, there's been a bit of controversy with Huda copying things in the past. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you guys think that Huda saw a cheap, very cheap palette for sale, she took inspiration from it and decided to create her own? Do you think that's what happened or is it purely a coincidence? Is it like a Jeffree Star's Alien palette and the Hot Topic palette? Is it just a coincidence? The palette from Wish? Huda's palette. You can't deny there's a similarity there. There's a big similarity there. They do have very similar tones, but as you can see from Huda's palette, Huda's seems to have a lot more shimmers in there and like intense glitter compared to what this one does. Now, one thing I might struggle with, I, I saw people that received this in PR got this fancy brush set with it, and the brush had this interesting applicator that you're supposed to use to apply the glitters. Now, I don't have anything like that applicator. It's literally like a, a piece of rubber, so I'm just gonna probably use my fingers. Okay, now let's swatch these. Let's start off with Hooters palette. I'm finding it very, very difficult to read the shade names on here. So it looks like Bear, Crave, Play, Fantasy, Love Bite, Spanked, Lace, Daydream, Tickle, Excite, Infatuated, Kinky, Concealed, Secret, Tease, Raw, Charmed, and Teddy. As you may have seen, there's this Concealed, and that's actually concealer. Now that's something that they don't have in the Tease Me palette. Let's have a look at the Tease Me palette. So we have Lies, Blissful, Pleasure, Kiss Me, Innocent, Fire, Sexy, Orgasm, Tempting, Charming, Nudes, <laughs> Seduce Me, Please Me, 
peaches, classy, dare me, lust, and desire. Now what I want to try and do today is create a look that's basically the same. I'll use one eye for Wish and I'll do one eye with Hooters palette. Okay, so looking at these, the immediate shades that stick out to me as very, very similar that I can use. The shade Secret looks very, very similar to the shade Orgasm. The shade Peaches looks very similar to Raw. Kinky looks similar to Fire. And even though the shade Crave is a chunky glitter, color-wise, it's kind of similar to Kiss Me. If I was just looking at the colors on their own and not looking at the layout of the palette or the shape or the size or the color story as a whole, I probably wouldn't think that they were that similar. But when you put them side by side, the overall look of it is eerily, eerily similar, and the theme is very similar too. That's enough talking, so let's have a look and see if Huda's new nude palette is a copy of the Beauty Creations Tease Me palette from Wish. Okay, so I've primed my eyes just with some ColourPop concealer. <laughs> and now I'm going to start off with the lighter shade in each palette. So in Huda's palette, that is probably Bear, and in the Tease Me palette, it's the shade Lies. I'll just use a fluffy Jaclyn Hill brush. This is a JH30. So we'll take Bear. Now I know that Bear is a lot lighter than what the Tease Me palette's light shade is, but I'm just trying to do as similar as I can. I've cleaned off this one a little bit and I'm gonna take the same brush and put it into Lies from the Beauty Creations palette. Oh, you know what's crazy? This palette, smells so nostalgic. Do any of you remember like going into your mum's makeup collection and pulling open the drawer and there's this smell of like baby powder, like slightly perfumed old lady smell. That's exactly what this palette smells like. It's really weird. It's so nostalgic. It just makes me think about sneaking into my mum's bathroom and trying on her makeup as a kid. So while this shade in the pan is a lot more yellow than Hooters Bear shade, it's looking fairly similar on the eye. Archie. I'm confiscating it. No. Now I'm going to take the shade Teddy from Hooters palette, which is this one here. That's blended out really easily. I'm happy with that. Now I think the closest one to Teddy from the Tease Me palette is probably the shade Orgasm here. It's not quite as pigmented as Hooters, but this is uh, approximately $90 cheaper than Hooters palette, so I'm not complaining. I'll just go over this a couple of times until I can build it up to a similar pigmentation. But you know what? For such a cheap palette, this is blending pretty well. Okay, we're looking fairly similar. I think I'll take this shade, Raw, from Hooters palette, and I'm gonna put it up against the shade Peaches from the Tease Me palette. The Peaches shade is a little tiny bit darker, but I feel like these, because they aren't quite as pigmented, they will turn out lighter on the eye. So I'm just gonna use this on the outer edge. And this is actually a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be. Dipping into Peaches with that same brush, I've cleaned it off though. So really, you just have to go in a couple more times with this Beauty Creations palette to get a similar sort of colour payoff. Hooters, I didn't have to go in quite as much, and you can see that Hooters is a little bit darker. That raw shade from Hooters palette has a bit more brown to it than what this one does. Alright, well we're looking pretty similar at the moment. <laughs> Now I'm going to take this shade Spanked from Hooters palette and I'll be putting it up against the shade Desire. Alright, we'll try Desire. For my lower lash line, I'm going to take Hooters shade Secret, which is this one here. And I'm going to put it up against nudes. Send nudes.
Okay, this is probably for me where I would stop and I would do liner and lashes, but in the uh, spirit of the review, we're gonna try some of these glitter shades now. I'm gonna take the concealer from this palette and I'm gonna cut the crease on my left eye. With my right eye, I'll just go in with a similar toned concealer. This is very, very firm in the pan. Almost to the point where like nothing is coming up onto my brush. Okay, I'll try this. Now remember guys, we're birdie gurus here. We're not beauty gurus. So if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. Definitely not a fan of this concealer. I don't know if you can see. I mean, maybe on camera it might look like it's doing okay, but I can hardly get any of it to come off onto my brush. And then when it goes on the lid, it just isn't really concealing as much as I would like. Maybe it's been specifically formulated this way. I don't know. They've probably designed it like that to work well with the shadows in this palette. But just personally for me, I don't think that this concealer is performing that well. And I. Personally, would have just preferred for that to be another shade, you know, like another shadow. You're paying $95 for an eyeshadow palette, and it just seems a bit gimmicky to chuck in a crappy concealer in the bottom corner. Alright, so now I don't have the fancy pants tool that the other beauty gurus got in their PR packages, so I might just try my Finger? No, should I use a wet brush? Oh, I don't know. This is a Jaclyn Hill brush that's basically meant to be used for metallics and shimmers and things like that. So I'll go into the shade, I can't even read it, Crave. She really should have put this in black text because it's very hard to read. So the shade Crave. There is a little bit being picked up on this dry brush. Oh, okay, yeah, that's kind of working. Okay, let's wet the brush first. Oh yeah, that really helped. It's okay, but I'm gonna try out with my finger. So it's just this one. That picked up a fair bit. Now uh, this is gonna be a challenge because with these big nails, it's very, very difficult. Okay. Okay, that's so much better. So my only problem now is I can't get that really precise line with the cut crease, so I will have to use the brush. Okay, so I've just picked it up on the brush, I'll give it a, a spray, and I'll see how close I can get to that line. strange how chunky it was in the pan. Just get a close-up of this. Do you see here? See how chunky these are? But see what this one has turned yeah. into since I rubbed into it? It's almost as though the chunky glitters kind of like disintegrate into nothing. It's really weird. So let's just take some Colourpop concealer and cut this crease. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I'm gonna try the exact same technique now with the dry brush first and then I'll wet it and then I'll use my finger. And I think I might try, hmm, either the shade Classy or Kiss Me. I'm leaning more toward the shade Kiss Me. So that's this one up here. Now I know that in Hooters one it's more of a glitter and this one's more, looks more metallic, but similar shades. So we'll give this a try with the brush first. Oh, would you look at that? Not doing too bad. I'll pick some up on the brush now and wet the brush. So there is a bit of a difference in the shades. You can see that this one is more gold and this one's a bit more like a lighter kind of gold, like a champagne. I'll just go in with my finger now. And I can hear Archie chewing on something. What have you got to say for yourself? Okay, so I'll just try again with the brush to get in really close to the line. Is 
This one is a lot more pigmented, that's for sure. So I'm gonna try and go back over Hooters one again. I'll just use my finger. Okay, so another layer there did really help. Now I'm gonna try and take the darkest metallic that I can find. Looks like in Hooters palette, this shade here called Kinky. This one looks very, very similar to the Beauty Creations Fire, which is this shade here. I'm gonna try that same thing where I take a dry brush first. All right, dipping into Kinky. That picked up a lot on the brush. That was a pretty nice shade to work with. All right, so let's dip into this fire shade now from the Beauty Creations palette. Good Lord. They're literally identical. <laughs> This is wild. <laughs> I don't believe this. All right, well, I'm having quite a hard time blending and talking at the same time. So I'm just gonna try and tidy this up a little bit. I have a little bit more blending to do just here because I'm, you know, really quite useless at doing eyeshadow. So I'll just tidy this up. I'll put on some lashes and some liner and then I will be back to give you my final thoughts. <laughs> have you seen my video about this yet? Finger eyeliner. I will uh, link it up there. Definitely go watch it. <laughs> And we're back. So the look is complete. Uh, time for my final thoughts. So I've tried to blend them out as best as I can. But I have a friend over at the moment and I just went out to her and I asked her for her opinion. Now she didn't know what I was doing or what I was using or which shadow was on which eye. So uh, let's hear her thoughts. Michelle, how did I do? Are they, does it look okay? Very cute. I love the golden looks. And uh, do you think that it's, uh, is there much of a difference between my two eyes? I think this one is much more vibrant, while that one's a little bit less. Can you guess which is which? Do you know what I'm doing? I haven't even told you. I mean, you may have heard me. She's, she's been sitting out here while I've been filming. You may have heard me, but I've been comparing the Huda $95 new nude palette okay. to one I got off Wish for $7. So which one do you like better? Which side? Uh, I definitely prefer this side, but judging by your opinion. This one? Yeah. <laughs> judging by your reaction. Michelle has spoken, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Huda wishes that she was this good. <laughs> I 100% agree with Michelle. I think that the Wish shadows look so much better than Huda's. Now, keep in mind, I'm relatively new to makeup. I could be using Huda's palette wrong. If I am, please let me know. I'm happy to do it again and put some pictures up on Instagram if I was using it wrong. But as far as I'm concerned, I think I did it right and I really do think that color wise the color payoff from the wish palette is so much better this wish palette or the beauty creations palette was seven dollars and I did this look for seven dollars but this one here now I have a little bit of a price breakdown of Hooters palette so it's 18 shades in total it costs 95 Australian dollars or your firstborn child or a spare kidney. There's 19 grams in total. So each shadow weighs 1.05 grams and it's $5.20 per shade. Now let's compare that to Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar palette because that palette also has 18 shades. I know the colors aren't the same, but just in terms of the quantity and the price. So Jeffree's palette comes in at 72 Australian dollars. So it's over $20 cheaper. It's $4 per shade and each shade weighs 1.5 grams, with 27 grams in total. So Hooters has 19 grams in total, Jeffrey's has 27 grams in total, Jeffrey's palette is made in America, Hooters palette, Huda doesn't want to tell me where her palette is made, made in Italy, fancy that. Maybe that's why it's so much more expensive. I know some of her palettes are made in China, like her uh, Obsessions palettes, they're made in China. I feel like you can definitely see a difference between the blendability of this one made in Italy versus some of her palettes that are made in China that I've tried. The Tease Me palette is also made in China and uh, I feel like it was better. But look, I don't want people to come for me, you know, have a yell at me saying, oh, you're just saying that the Wish one is better. Think about it this way, I paid $7 for this and $95 for this. Now, yes, there is always the problem that cheap Chinese cosmetics could have contaminants. I swatched these, it's been on my eye for a little while, it's feeling fine. There's so many thousands of people that have reviewed this palette online saying that they love it. So I do feel confident using it. But that being said, if you're worried about cheap Chinese makeup, you can always pick up a cheap ColourPop palette. This is the Give It To Me Straight palette. 
Some of these shades are incredibly similar to the shades in Hooters palette and in the Tease Me palette. And this, I think this is like $20 or something, maybe. This is a cheap-ish palette. Still not as cheap as the Wish one, but at least you have the confidence of knowing that this is made in America and it's regulated. So my final thoughts. No, I don't recommend Huda's new nude palette to you. If you like Huda, for example, if you want to spend a lot of money, if this is the perfect palette, you absolutely love the look of it, and you can't wait to own it, go for it. I mean, I don't think you're going to be bitterly disappointed. I just think that for what it is, and for the price, and the cost per shadow, I feel like you could do better. You could get similar quality for much cheaper. Uh, for example, you could get this for much cheaper. But also, I don't want to loudly preach and advocate that you guys go buying cosmetics from China, like from Wish, because I do know that some people have very serious reactions to these things. I hope that this is safe, but you really never know. Look, some people just don't have the same concerns, some people don't really care whether makeup is going to be bad for them or not. So look, it's really up to you, but in this case, I do feel somewhat comfortable promoting this but also just be careful when you do buy cosmetics on Wish. In terms of the giveaway, like I said, I'm giving two of this palette away. Yes, the giveaway is international. Uh, the rules for the giveaway, hmm. I've been having problems with some of my giveaways where I've run them exclusively on YouTube because there's no way to directly message someone on YouTube. I can't send a DM. I had an issue with one of my other giveaways where someone literally created a fake YouTube account with the same name as the winner, so it's it's a bit difficult and messy to run it on YouTube, so it is easier for me to run it on Instagram. So I'm sorry if you don't have Instagram, but I think the rules for this one will be that you have to be subscribed to my channel here, you have to follow me on Instagram, leave a comment down below and tell me which palette you think was better. Let me know your Instagram username, so that way if you're the winner, I can actually contact you on Instagram. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, oh, by the way, before I let you go, look, if you're still watching right now, I'm, I'm gonna guess that you're an actual fan of mine and you're not just here for the review. Our merch is all live, the pre-order pins. These were on pre-order for a while and now they're a reality. They are the most beautiful pins, I absolutely adore them. So this one here, this is Alex and Archie, and this one is The Bird Stays. These are made by Once Upon a Pin. She's based in New York. She has the most beautiful little pin store, and I feel so, so lucky to be working with her. I have some of her other pins here too that I'll show you. This is her Narwhal pin. He is so cute, and he comes in a couple of different colors. She has her Mermaid Baking Flapjack pin. These are so stunning. These are her Koi pins. And her Cinnabon pin. Most important of all, the Archie pin. So if you want to pick up a pin for yourself, head over to her store envy. It's onceuponapin.storeenvy.com. I will put all the links in the description box below. Follow her on Instagram. She has such a cute Instagram feed. And if you do pick up a pin for yourself, don't forget to take a photo and tag me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you are online so I can see. So uh, if you want to join the flock, don't forget to subscribe. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Tell me which one you think won. Was it Hooters or was it Wish? Also let me know if you want to see the video where I tried on the full face of free makeup from Wish because that's, that video uh, took a turn for the worst and I just I want to make it as educational and informative as possible so if you do want to see that and you have anything to say about you know Chinese makeup or buying makeup from Wish if you have any concerns voice them below I will take some of the comments from this video and use them in that video if I do make it anything that you want to share please let me know below so uh, with that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time Mwah!